<laughs> Have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never seen Neil so happy. <laughs> it wasn't me, it's not. <laughs> This trip in two parts, which helps. We got a week, and then a break, and then another week, which I think helps the energy levels. By the end of it, we kind of want to, kind of want to fight each other a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna get there super fast. I was thinking about going into it high stack, knowing, thinking I'm gonna be challenged by you. Mm -hmm. I was gonna come in this morning at 4:50 in the morning and slap you in the face. Oh, you do it right you now. Know, you you won't. You're, you're not challenging me. I challenge you. I picked up a hitchhiker too. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Justin Huber. <laughs> hey, bud. Have you ever been to Pinehurst? First time. Uh, heard great things. I lost track of my money. But I figured we could keep it a, you know, an ins it, it was not a, a group incident. Not, not Everybody didn't need to know about it. I took care of it last night. Three dollars buys my silence. As long as you keep quiet. I'm gonna stay totally silent. Huber brought the toys. <laughs> Got his Lormatec boots too. The Ross Ross Cottage, Dornick Cottage is gonna be a a layer of relaxation and healing. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? He's like, hey, you were just like not giving those guys any space. You were falling way too closely. I was like, oh, well, I was trying to get over to like, you looked like you were getting ready to pull someone over. Didn't say that. Yes, I did. You said, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shaking hands, wow, class act. That is how you get a ticket with class. That is how you get a ticket? That is how you get a warning with class. You got off? First of all, he asked if I was drinking. He's like, you been drinking? I'm like, no, it's 9.30 in the morning. He's like, I thought I smelled booze in the car. And it didn't dawn on me until after this fucking jewel. <laughs> the crackling of the jewel. He just wanted to make sure we're not following too closely. And, and you were following too closely. I was following too closely because I was trying to get out of the way so he could go yeah. pull the bad guys over. Yeah. He looked at me, he's like, whoa, anybody else gonna pop yeah, out guess, back there? He's like, who's back there? Who's back there? And he's like, nobody. You know, what kind of car is that anyway? BMW? Yeah, that's cool, man. He's, like, <laughs> he's looking at my clothes like, what are you, some sort of, like, what are you, a golfer or something? Sir, I am a golfer. Sir, yes, sir. So we're on our way to a golf trip right now. He said, no way, where are you going? I said, Pinehurst. He said, Pinehurst, hey, North you're Carolina? you're falling too closely again. He said, what kind of clubs you got? I said, sir, that's a great question. Callaway club. He said, boy, they cost a lot of money, don't they? I said, not as much as you think. <laughs> they can make you some good deals. It would be fun to be pulling down here knowing that you're getting ready to play the US Open. Neil, the cradle. To the left. Where you will be, ru <laughs> you will be running You'll be running right there. Yeah. They're, they're gonna put a plaque on that fence right there. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do here. Oh, and it's oh! been rejected again. Oh, hey. <laughs> How the heck are you? Woo! Good. It's a little nippy out here, guys. Yee! What's it most similar to? Number two, by far. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna play number two, you should come out here and play before you go out to two and you get a general idea of what you're getting yourself into. And most people don't wanna play it though because it's 5,400 yards, 5,200 yards. They don't think it's a real course. Yeah. Is it and a real course? It's a real course. Is it, I mean, is it easy or hard? Just people aren't coming out here and breaking par or shooting even close to it. This course is harder than number four. Normally DJ would be getting eight shots by the handicap system. Uh, but a couple of those shots were gonna be on nine and 18. 
And I just thought I was scared he was going to lose a bunch of presses. Well, I want to make some presses. I want to feel, I want to go after it. He's afraid he's going to be down. And so he's looking to. I'm going to plan to be down. That's the idea. And then, so I'm giving him six shots. And on three of the holes, he's getting a half shot instead of getting the full eight. Tron is also our government's labeled Tron a, a handicap manipulator as well. Why we did saw you agree how, to how that worked for him? Because when you're on top, you got You can't turn challenges down. Otherwise, people label you a coward. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are talking big game. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying. They're are trying they here? to challenge me to a, to a match. I'm saying no, no dice. Are you just gonna ease your way in on number yeah. three? I'm not gonna be sucked in. Dorito's last stand will not be on number three, the first round of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone calls me like I always get like JoJo the Indian Circus boy. I get all jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> on the first trip, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go f steaks. Let's go f them up, and then I end up flaming out. And so I'm trying to ease my way into it for once in my life. Oh. I said me, you, and Sally should get in a fatal three-way. DJ's just gonna pick us off one by one by one. But if you, me, and Sally got into a fatal three-way, you should collude. Then whoever comes out of that is like on equal footing with DJ. I mean, ideally, Sally brings him back down under 250. Play a two-two-two, no presses. I would love to do that. <laughs> you guys just <laughs> you, you got yourself a guy. You guys are pussies. I love you on this course. I do too. You know, keep it yeah. eating his uh, six uh, irons off tees. That's, that's exactly like that. what I'm thinking. You ever do the cat and the camel? Oh yeah, every day. Every He's day I do. Slender man stretch, <laughs> stretch scene right here. It's like a defensive. Yeah, and then now. Reach, <laughs> reach, reach. <laughs> I got something for you, DJ. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not legal. <laughs> what do you mean it's not legal? Fucking tempo. It's my it's my mantra. There's certain stickers you can have on there that looks like it looks athletic like tape. <laughs> and they could easily peel off. Well, I mean, who can say? You can that's... lacquer it on there. Are that's you allowed to put swing <laughs> thoughts on there? Yeah, why? I've never seen, I mean. I mean, you can write it on literally your glove. In the, I, I can't imagine I that's it... in the rule book. You can't put a mantra on your driver. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Neil. Oh my oh. god. Oh, <laughs> sick! Greens, I mean, the greens here are a little smaller, but you know, the, all the runoff areas are there. And in two, at two, I mean, small targets, and you're gonna have your ball roll off a lot into the runoff area, so you get good practice putting up and down those, or chipping, or getting your short game really dialed in for two. Hell yeah. Sick. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy that has all the cash? Solly to win the first. And he does. Did you say press? Is that what you said? Sure. Really? Yeah, I got all the money. Solly number two, 112 yards. He has shanked it. Still in play though. Still in play. Club. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how um, when I topped it on the first hole, I was like, "Oh, that's just whatever." Like, we're good. That's an aberration. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. It wasn't. I topped it off of, I think maybe three of the four of the first four holes were just dead top. Um, no, you had, the, you had the blade too on two. A couple of blades. I, yeah. I bladed a wedge, like probably fifty yards over the green. Sick. He has then pulled it. Folks, you are in for the pillow fight of your lives today. Yeah, I almost got it up and down. Uh, you, made, you made five. You made five. Uh, two down through two. I'm going to press again. Okay, that's fine. Sick. Oh, boy. Street, it's a straight 90 degree dog leg to the right. Like, if you look on top of the hill, you can kind of see the 150 post sitting up there. Cuba remembers every shot everyone hit today. I can tell you. What did Neil do on number three today? Uh, he pulled it way left, <laughs> hit it out in the fairway. <laughs> oh my god. Hit it long. What? 
No, I don't. I literally can't picture the hole right now. <laughs> Tron hit his first one, clipped the tree, and almost went out of bounds. Hit a provisional. Hit his next one, he chipped it out, then he hit it short of the green, then he chipped it on, and he two putted for a six for five, and he beat me on the hole. That's tough. He was like, dude, remember that shot you hit at Tijuana, like on nine, you like, or the birdie putt? You know? I was like, damn, dude, I kind of forgot. Front left pin, you're on the fringe. I mean, he cashed it. It was big. DJ has topped his drive on three. This part of training comes straight down. You forget when you're out there that you're playing like a short course. It's not, it's not that different. I mean, you still have to hit really quality shots. Solid for birdie to go three up through three. Did I hear some more action? Yeah, I'll press again. Okay. Mark. The course is like, uh, you remember that TV show, Little People, Big World? It's like the opposite of that. It's like big people, little course. <laughs> Like, uh, left, honey, I shrunk the course. In the wind, it's a <laughs> I think after a six hour car ride, there can't be a better course on premises uh, to play first. All clear. I also really enjoy the fifth hole. Uh, kind of a blind tee shot, you don't really know where you're going, but it's about 100 yards wide, and it's, it's, a, it's a perfect use of width. If you're up the right side, you do not have a good angle to get at that pin. There's sandy areas over there, but you got all the room in the world to the left to blow it to give yourself a proper angle and approach to that hole. Oh my God. What did that hit? Just like caught the edge of the collar, just shot it forward. That was so good. We shockingly get to hit almost every club in the bag. I think today, yeah. if I look back at it, I bet I hit 11 or 12 out of the 14 at least. Um, it's fun, the little green complexes are fun, the shaved around the edges. Just a, It's just a really fun little short course. Folks, he's bullying the golf course. 5,000 yards, but it's all kind of 50 yards and in. It's very challenging. Small greens, small shelves on the green, tuck pins, ton of fun. All right, through six, I've got closure on the front, closure on the first press, three up, two up, one up. Sure. And you pop one at seven, half stroke on nine. Sounds good. Pop here. What? I you pop go here. Hop here. Yeah, we'll press it. Okay. Swing. Oh, yeah. So the, the vibe I really liked about the course was it felt like a, much more of a members or neighborhood course. I felt like guys were jumping on and off like, 16, you'd see like a group appear and then they disappear with all the houses around. Yeah, that's one way to handle it. I think I already lost seven ways maybe on the front. Six ways. Six ways. Press again. Figure honestly, if I lose $100 today, I'm still miles ahead of those clowns, so. Way right. Yeah, you're not good. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, oh no. Yeah. John Daly situation. Match. I'm five down. We're on the 10th hole. We have an opportunity here for something I never thought I'd be able to do. DJ is getting a pop here, but I am eight up and uh, I have a shot to aim him nine and eight if I win this hole. Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. It's just short. All right, this is where we flip it. Come on, God, can you imagine coming back from eight down? <laughs> what a moment. One small step, here it comes. What is it, like the Vetus Julius thing? No, no one beats him 17 times in a row. <laughs> I'm uh, seven up on the 18 and you are one up on the back. 
and the press. Could be. The reverse aims. The reverse aims. Eight down at the turn. It could be. <laughs> he could flip it all the way back. It could be. Uh, number 11, the par five, dog legging to the right, was a one of the best holes I've played at Pinehurst. That, that could have fit in on any of the golf courses out here. Launched. Left the whole way is safe. Sweeps down to the right. You gotta hit an absolute bomb to even have a view of the green. Oh, folks, it's right at it. Hold the line. The green looks super intimidating from the front side, and then you get up there and you kind of look back at it. Like, there's not really, it's not, there's a lot more bark and bite, I think. Oh boy. Sister. DJ Pai going for 11 and 2. Yeah. Good. Out to the left. Should kick back. Ooh. That one worked on, out. Oh, yeah. Killed the speed of it. Easy. You know, Deej, oh, I nice. thought you were going to be vulnerable just coming off the anticipation. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that's great. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, hell of a player. Man, you, really, a player. you really had to really enjoy it. Yeah. It's good to beat you at your best. Thank you. You know, no nope. excuses, just absolute dog shit play. I think that's about as bad as I could have possibly played. I hit the five iron of my life on the par three 12. Finally, that's a better swing. That was a great swing. 20 feet behind the hole, put it off the green, made a five. <laughs> um, so the katana's not doing shot. Whoa. 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 Hey. Listen, I know it was the short part five, but technically like hit the green in two and uh, made a seven. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, That's kind of sad. I, Come on. Oh no. If I had to put a headline on it, I'd say Solly hits three shanks, comma, wins eight and seven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn over. You know, it's pretty off brand to not hit driver on the par five. I think I'm just gonna. Can you, can you physically hit driver? Or guys, I, I don't know if I can hit a hook, but I'm about to, to try. I lost it. Steve, I'm not sure if it's playing the phone. Sick. You better hit the center of these greens or your ball is rolling off of them to the front or to the left or to the back, so. It, you know, sometimes the TC way might not be the right way, but it is the TC way. That, go back and look at that. It's not easy. No you go back and look at that. You had to play really far left. It's short, but man, it wasn't easy. It was not easy birdies. Had proper shot value. And a lot of people make fun of that term, but it, it's like you got to hit you gotta hit good golf shots out here or your ball is going to start rolling away from the hole. A developing situation, Randy just putted off the green from right here. Oh. Okay, folks, he's been automatic, filling it up today. This butt to have the hole. Automatic. This guy. Majestic. Oh, look at this guy. Early tee grabs and everything. Oh, that's so thin. Oh, the straight ball. Where'd it go? It's so high on the face. Oh. To extend the match. Stay up. One time. God. 
Folks, he hasn't missed one all year. Oh, Why would he start now? Hey. Why we make him putt him? Hey. Enjoy. Yeah. I'm good. Hey, you're kind of bad at that, right? Almost, uh, almost two holes behind this foursome holding up this lovely twosome. Absolute embarrassment. To be fair, to that's if you're Randy, that's how you shrink the game. Is that the TC way? <laughs> Those guys might quit. <laughs> <laughs> they said you were the slow player out there, unfortunately. Yeah, tour, tour was kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> being a lot of professionals. <laughs> this green, I think it was maybe my favorite at number three, 17 green. I had a really good drive. I had 50 yards, and on the angle I was right at the flag. It's it's a tabletop, maybe like a five yard landing area and you got to be coming in uh, vertical with with grab right down the nice pipe brand. oh how does that not keep turning that's good man pick that up <laughs> good play that's dude. Uh oh, oh. What? just to salvage ten dollars out of the day. It's all right. That's about right. Sums it up. I feel like I completely wasted a chance to play an insanely fun place, and that's frustrating. But despite the fact that I shot 150, um, I still somehow like had a good time hitting the shots come out and just lay a fat egg is not doesn't give me the best vibes going forward but um, you know we're still gonna probably have this the, the tall stack depending on how much I, I lost today and uh, the, the bad part for you is that I had three of the coldest possible shanks today I think it was there was no good part for me I think I got respectfully you, I got you 12 ways Better. 60 bucks okay should we go the deuce? I would love. That, that, that sounds great. That sounds great. We went five and seven. What's wrong with you? Have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never seen you so happy. <laughs> it wasn't me. It's not. <laughs> what happened? We always do that on strap. Every time we do strap, I do that. I've never seen him this tickled. <laughs> well, I watched it happen. <laughs> you didn't notice it. <laughs> What did Randy do on the hole that Tron hit the pin, number six? Oh, he hit a short left in the bunker, hit a beauty bunker <laughs> shot that caught the wrong side of the ridge, went off the green, hit a great chip up to tap it. Um, this one here? Yeah, this shooting this at 2 a.m. Neil made the staff come back to get his car keys. You've been, you've been full of shit all day. Here they are. Found it! <laughs> Thanks, man. That one? Hey. Hey, hello, welcome. So how, how are we doing rooms? I don't know, it sounds like the... the don't you get a big oh, one? How are we doing oh, rooms, guys? This is pretty sick up here. I don't want to get too comfy. I'm going to take the very modest room right here. So this, guys, he's going to try to paint this like a very, a very uh, magnanimous play, but it's actually, it's actually a very self No, what are you talking about? So he doesn't have to share a bed. Well, I don't want to share a bed. Well, like, I'm, my first pick is not going to be a shared bed. My first pick is not to share a bed with a reindeer. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like somebody should sleep here. Can I get in, in there? Uh, Tron and Ross will be sleeping like in the master bedroom. Hubert, I could pull rank and take this room. For sure. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's already, it's already said to someone where it filmed it. Here, let me take this camera. <laughs> Okay, so you guys will be standing here. Yeah, I think this is a better fit. Rings we had, we so had to downsize. Out. You know, it was too much to take care of over there. You had a pretty big, luxurious bed to yourself. I always say I'm happy to sleep with whoever. People just don't want to sleep with me. So Why is that? They say I snore. Allegedly. Allegedly. And I don't really show people the whole stack usually, but let me, <laughs> let me, peel, nice, um, let me peel off a little bit here for you. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I have $41 left. 41, yeah. shout out to Dave, your boy. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, I'm all in, I'm in, let's go. <laughs>
Dave, let's go, baby. Are you are you worried that are you are you whatever you're gonna say? No, I'm not worried. Mr. Solomon, I'll be your caddy today. Hey, why don't you go ahead and put this on? It's very clear that you'll be caddying today. We're either gonna get humbled or we're gonna push some people around. We're gonna find out. That's why you brought in the alpha. What's Neil gotta do well to win today? He's just he's gotta get off the tee. Schuster. There it is.